Now, this type of exercise, um, in a slightly different, it, it's it's changed over time. Yeah. But in the eighties, let's say late seventies, early eighties, and, and going back to the time when you you were involved in exercise to a degree, it was Nautilus was a thing. Yeah. There were gyms popping up everywhere. People were doing whether they knew it or not. Right. A kind of high intensity approach. It might have been more frequent than we would suggest nowadays, right. but the, the, it was there and it had its moment. Yeah. Do you think this form of exercise can ever have its moment again? Well, I think that uh, the answer is yes, and I think that it's never gone away. It's sort of like, um, what's a good analogy? It's sort of like um, any other form of activity or um, or, or uh, like a pastime activity or exercise program that works but isn't comfortable to do. So right here, I have this gym here in Manhattan for 20 years. I have another facility in Montclair, New Jersey that I've had for four years doing really well. And I'm not the only one. There are many people like me throughout the country. So it's never really gone away. I think the problem is is that the typical person doesn't, and it's unfortunate because the fitness industry teaches them, well, anything's better than nothing. But that's not true. It's only true if the something is better than nothing. If it isn't, then it's still nothing. So like walking, it's popular. People like to do things they enjoy. Mm. But uh, it's, it's the educational process that is, um, that is at fault, really. Because you must have seen in, in this time frame a myriad of trends and fads in the yeah. exercise world come and, and go. Yeah, you know, and strength training. Well, let's put it this way, weightlifting has never gone. You know, from before I was born, and the old timers, the old time barbell and strongmen till today, lifting weights has always been uh, a staple part of any serious person's exercise program. The question though is, how should you do it? Right, and so what we, what I, what, what I feel is you should do it in the safest possible manner. There should be no other question. Safety should be number one. And then why not try to do it in the most time efficient fashion? It's still people just think the more exercise you do, the better. People don't, and, I, and when I give a PowerPoint presentation for new clients, one of the slides I show is that uh, more uh, exercise isn't better because the benefits of exercise come when you're resting from exercise, not when you're exercising. And this is what people out there don't, don't realize. If uh, Oprah Winfrey was doing high intensity strength training, it would be way more popular. Maybe it would take something like that to happen where a very famous or a very influential person <coughs> started doing it. And um, now, Well, but well I, I think that's, that's a good point because I think if you look at the online high intensity training community, you've got a lot of people who are very, very, very into this. Yes. To the degree that there's, there's sort of uh, online fights about all my stuff that's irrelevant. And, yes. then, and then you get to... Uh, and I was a large part of that for a long okay. time. Let's go back a little bit because <laughs> your forum, Serious Strength Forum, was where I, first, for instance, I learned a lot from it. But I also first found out about Bill De Simone from Beck because he was... He, he meant, Bill, yeah. I think you mentioned his book, his book on that forum. Yeah, Bill's brilliant. Um, so you, you obviously used to have a a forum and a, mm -hmm. a place online yep. um, for, for, long for time. interaction for a very long, yeah, significantly yep. long period of time. And I kind of get a sense you, you might pull back a little bit from, from the online side of things. Yeah. Um, until recently, of course, you're talking about doing a YouTube thing soon, but yeah. is, was there, is there a reason for that? Was that a specific decision or? Well, one of the main reasons might have been I had children. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like, you know, I need to spend my time over there. Right. Um, but it became, you know, after a while, you, you, you start to realize that, um, I think we were mentioning this earlier, that it, be, it become the minutia of it becomes just, it's not that important anymore. I mean, you do want to do things as safely and as effectively and as efficiently as possible. Yes, why not? But when the arguments started to become about, well, people rather than ideas, mm. that's when it started to get just boring. And as you said, that the biggest impact you can have on people's lives is when they walk in through your door here. Yes. 
and you you can take somebody who's 70 years old and, and just give them life again effectively or, or, or a life yeah. that's far uh, more comfortable and they're more capable for 